For young professionals interested in a career in corporate social responsibility, what skills and experiences would be most important for them to develop? Um, well, you know what, I would say, first of all, you know, for any professional, I think there's always opportunities to take aspects of corporate social responsibility and embed it into your daily responsibilities. So for example, like in my own personal case, I was a human resources professional before I moved into this role. But as um, I led a recruitment function um, for Hewitt, and I had probably about 35 recruiters who reported to me. And one of the things that I did as part of um, the responsibilities that I had um, was that I held every recruiter accountable to teach two behavioral-based interviewing classes um, in the community a year. So whether they went to domestic violence shelters or they went to county colleges, high schools, welfare to work programs, didn't matter where they went, I wanted them to give back and to deliver that subject matter expertise and help the community. And in turn, we definitely increased our candidate pool. We definitely increased the number of resumes and applications and so forth. But um, that was really very important to me, and I think it was one of the factors as to why they selected me to develop the function for Hewitt was because I did embed it into my daily responsibilities. And I could directly tie it, you know, to, um, I would measure it. So you could measure how many candidates you hire through retained search firm, how many you hire through contingency, newspaper advertisement, research firms. And I would do community, and it would always have a zero cost per hire. So we really were able to quantify the impact of embedding that into our business strategy um, in terms of bringing down our cost per hire. So I think for any young professional, Whatever role that you're in, whether you're in college right now, completing college, or you're in um, an entry-level role, or you're in a managerial role with another organization looking to make a career change into this, I would look at your current situation and really determine how it is that you can embed this type of work into your work. And, uh, and the types of skills I think that you need to develop would be, um, you know, I think it um, you know, having analytical skills is critical because you really need to research and understand the demographics of the space that you're in. I think networking is absolutely critical and relationship management, being able to manage the not-for-profit relationship as well as internal relationships, mostly with um, executives. Um, measurement skills are important to really understand the social change that you can make and so forth. And I think cross-cultural confidence is key because those that you serve in the community, you know, their lives vary and you really can't judge where they're at. You have to really understand and be able to think how it is, what an appropriate response might be. Great. And then for experienced communications professionals who wish to transition into corporate social responsibility, mm -hmm. what advice would you provide for them? You know, communication skills are so much needed by the not-for-profit um, industry. So, you know, pick the philanthropic passion that you have, whether it's child abuse, health, education, and so forth. I would encourage any communication professional to identify their own personal philanthropic passion and think about ways where you can um, align yourself to an agency and donate your skills pro bono because that is a skill all these agencies need. And, um, and in turn, it's that very work that you can then leverage um, in terms of career decisions. But it also shows a personal commitment to you personally and to your profession. And it's a skill that is so much needed um, by the community. And it quantifies and is able to provide samples of your work when, as you look to transition into these types of opportunities. Great. Thank you so much oh, for you're spending time with us. Thank we you. Really appreciate it. Thank you.